Hi, Brent Haynes with Wood Sound Flutes. I want to talk to you about the differences between a satin finish and a high gloss finish today. And to do that, I have three flutes to share with you. The first flute is one of our cedar classics in the key of F sharp. It has our uh, our fruit wood mouthpiece and end cap and, and fruit wood totem and of course the cedar body. This particular flute has a satin finish on it. You say satin finish Brent, what is that? I'm used to seeing your flutes with all high gloss. Well it's exactly the same material as the high gloss finish. It just has been fin um, completed in a different way. It's been completed with a buffing and, uh, and instead of a polishing so that it leaves the flute with this matte look. The matte or the satin look is actually a little bit of a clouding of the uh, finish itself and it, uh, it creates a feeling on the flute that absolutely is delightful. I love the way the satin flutes f feel to the hand. Frankly, I like it more than any of the other ways that I finish flutes. But, as far as clarity into the wood, the gloss finish allows more light into the wood and it allows more light back out and allows me to see the wood more clearly because the finish itself is completely clear and not opaque at all. The satin finish is a little bit opaque and that's what creates the satin look to it and eliminates the gloss. So, whether you have a gloss finish on it or a satin finish on it, what's right for you, kind of depends on your personal taste and what you think you might like. When it comes to our classic flutes, the satin finish costs $25 more than the gloss finish does because our standard with the classic flutes is to do a gloss finish. Uh, whenever we do anything that's outside of the standard with the, the um, classic flutes, the cost has to be different because it, it changes the way that we approach the production of the instruments. And producing the classics and creating a, a production method for the classics that's very repeatable and very cost effective is one of the ways that I've been able to bring you these amazing flutes at such incredible prices. I mean this flute's only $275 and it is a world-class instrument that's worthy of any stage in the world. Right, it's just a spectacular flute, but we're able to bring the cost down because we make them all exactly the same and we know exactly what we're doing when we're sitting down to make them. We don't have to think about it. We just get into making and don't go into thinking at all. With custom flutes, that's totally different. We're thinking about it the whole time. We, we got to make sure we got the right end caps and we're doing the inlays right and, and we've got all the different little things that we're doing on the custom flute done right. With classics, it's not that way. So if you want a satin finish on a classic, the cost is $25 more than the classic flute itself. Now, um, I do have two classic or custom flutes I want to show you. And both of these have a satin finish on one side and a high gloss finish on the other side. So hopefully this is going to show up in the video and you can see that. I'll try and rotate this a little bit so you can see the shine on the high gloss. And then I'll bring it around to this side and rotate it a little. And you can see the lack of the fine lines in the high gloss. Now the difference as I look at it up close is I have some chatoyance, some glow and glisten that comes out of this um, canary wood. This flute is made out of um, canary wood. It has manzanita burl with box elder burl and some brass inlay. Um, and so when I move the flute a little bit I have this glow or glisten in the wood itself and that's called chatoyance. On the satin side I don't see the chatoyance as well. I still see it, so if there's some three-dimensionality to the wood itself where you, it looks all three-dimensional, um, you see it better with a gloss finish than you do with a satin finish. And uh, so just again, it's just a question of what is right for you and, and things. I love the feel of both finishes. Again, the feel of our, 
Our gloss finish is wonderful, but it does feel a little bit different than the satin. The materials, again, are exactly the same material. Both finishes provide you with all of the benefits that you expect out of a Wood Sounds flute and the Wood Sounds finish. They provide you with a non-toxic finish that's completely safe for you, that has no volatile organic compounds. So there's no aroma to the finish at all. There's, um, it provides you with an excellent barrier between you and the wood so that your body never comes in direct contact with the wood. This is really important in case you have any allergies or develop any allergies over time, which can happen to people that have been playing flutes for a long time and over time all of a sudden perhaps they, they get an allergy and their lips maybe get blisters or something from um, them touching the wood. This helps eliminate that because you're not actually in contact directly with the wood. There's a little bit of a barrier. Um, it also is extremely water resistant and so it provides an excellent protection to the wood itself from the moisture that we're putting into the wood. So both the satin finish and the high gloss finish have those advantages to them because they're exactly the same material. Yeah, they're just different in terms of how we complete the process of the uh, finishing. So this, is a, this particular flute again is canary wood. It's in the key of um, E and uh, it's a really fun flute. Very fun flute. It's got a beautiful sound, very ethnic-y, and um, very fun the way that uh, the canary wood sounds. It's very different than the cedar. It has a very, very different sound. The next flute that I'm going to share with you is Hunter and Rosewood, and it has a little bit of Hunter and Rosewood burl at the mouthpiece and uh, on the shoulders, some little bit of yellow cedar burl. And then we have a totem that has been carved by Jane Kwong. Jane Kwam is a famous uh, uh, Zuni uh, carver who carves uh, Zuni fetishes. She makes the most beautiful fetishes. One of the fetishes that she makes that's very popular is two wolves side by side, a male and a female wolf side by side. I actually have a couple of those that I'll be mounting on some flutes here in the next little bit to, uh, to show to you. I'm excited about them. This particular one is a buffalo and it's carved out of a piece of jet and the jet just happens to look an awful lot like this Hunter and Rosewood Burl. So it's a beautiful match to this flute. And, uh, and I just love it. Now, on this side of the flute, we have again our satin finish. You can see that there's not the high gloss, just nice soft edge to the light as it comes off of the flute. And then we turn it around and we have the high gloss finish that has the sharp edges to the light that's coming off of the flute. Now, what the difference is again up close is that on the high gloss finish I can see down into the grain really deep. On the satin finish I can't see as deep into the grain as I can on the high gloss finish. This particular flute is in the key of A and uh, just a gorgeous instrument. Beautiful sounding instrument, really plays a lot like a Brazilian rosewood uh, flute actually in its Honduran rosewood, so it's kind of nice because it doesn't have the price tag quite of the uh, Brazilian rosewood and yet it uh, has some really great acoustics to it. Now this flute and the canary wood flute, I will be um, completing the finishing on this so that this flute is completely a high gloss finished flute and be taking pictures of these. Um, and putting them up on my website so that you can see them and have an opportunity if you care to to buy them. Um, if you would like a custom flute that uh, is going to be one of your own making uh, or one of your own design or maybe you and I work together on coming up with a custom design 
Um, the cost for doing that with a satin finish is no additional cost because it's a custom flute. We're doing it from scratch. I got to think about every part of that flute in as I'm making it all the way through. With the classics, it's a different story. With the classics, we go into a groove. We know exactly what we're doing. We do several at a time of the classics and we don't change anything on them. So they're all exactly the same and we just dig in and go to work. So if there's any changes to the classics and what we're doing, there's got to be a little bit of a cost difference there because it pulls us out of our thinking process and, and how we're working and kind of disrupts the workflow as we're making the flutes. So it's $25 difference to get a, a satin finish on a classic flute. At any rate, I hope that, that uh, was able to sh you were able to see that through the uh, video. And I look forward to seeing you all soon, perhaps at Musical Echoes. If not there, maybe a festival down the road. Have a wonderful day.